Hey folks, in this video, we are going to take a look at how you back up and can export a course from Moodle uh, to wherever you want basically, or, or any other learning management system. So when you're in your course, uh, you have your course title, you have these headings right here, or these additional links, you're going to click on more and come down to course reuse. Uh, you may have other items here, but you should have course reuse. You're going to select that. It's going to default to the import page, but we're not importing, we're not importing anything into Moodle, we want to back it up. So we're going to click this little drop down menu and select backup. Now, uh, if you are just backing up and you intend to uh, you intend to uh, put this into another into another instance of Moodle, uh, you'll actually want to select the anonymized user information because if it's not the institution that you're working at, you don't want to violate FIPA, right? You don't want to actually take students' information, put it into another system because that could be a uh, a legal problem to say the least. So you can select that. If you're going to be importing it into another into another learning management system as a whole, one that isn't Moodle, uh, you're going to want to select this item, this top item, the LMS Common Cartridge uh, 1.1. This will make it more conducive to be imported elsewhere. So you're going to select that. Uh, you can check some of these other things if you so choose, and if you feel like you have everything, you can set you can select jump to the final step. But if you want to more customize what exactly you're bringing over, you will select next. And once you're here, what you'll do is you can actually check the different boxes of the things that you do or don't want to include. So maybe you're like, yeah, I actually don't need week two. I didn't end up using it or I didn't use this recording. So you can more customize what it is that backs up. Um, if you're fine with all of it, then you could always on that previous screen say jump to the final step. But let's go to next. And here it allows us to name the file. Again, we don't want to change the anything after to the right of that period, but we could change this to, you know, uh, course spring 2024. Uh, just giving it the courses uh, course name. All right, so I have the course name. This is just reaffirming all of the things that I've decided. Checks mean that it is coming over. Uh, blanks or X's mean that it isn't. Everything looks great. I'm going to perform backup. This screen, it will go quickly. If it's a smaller course, if you have a lot of stuff loaded into the course, it might take up to a minute, but this is all set, ready to go. It brings you to the course restore page, and then I can import a backup file, but what I want to go down to is you user private backup area this is where i've backed up different things and you can see right here that's the course if i want to download it i select the download it will download it to wherever my downloads load on my computer and then that's the file that i would be importing into another management system um, i could also um, import it into here so if i went to course import um, correction that's a course that already exists uh, if i went to course restore then I could choose to put the file here, and then it would re it would actually restore the course that I backed up into this course. Obviously, I wouldn't want to do it with the same course, so it might be a new course, um, or it might be a course in a different instance of Moodle. So hopefully this is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions, and thank you much.